I've been actively in the business pretty much from the age of 10, every school holidays, working your way up, general labouring, operating, pipe laying, grader checking, jumping on machines, probably bring some new ideas, new technologies into the business. There's been a long relationship with Cabalco over many, many years. We have a number of Cabalco in our fleet. We've got a 50 tonner, which has just had its 8,000 hour service. The SK350, obviously we rent the LC model because it's the style of work that we generally do. We require the longer tracks, the heavier track frame. It's probably better tailored for our style of work and very versatile. This machine's geared up with the full autos. The durability of the machines is exceptionally strong. The performance is, is great. The digging power, I think, is strong and powerful. Smoothability, obviously, of the escalator, that's down to operator feedback. The feedback's been exceptionally positive. I've been to a number of factory tours over my time, but when you go to the factory in Japan and you see the amount of work that goes in the triple welding of the undercarriage, the frames, the level of how they check whether the welds are done correct and how they run them through the x-rays and how they check the pumps. They've been doing it long enough, they've mastered it. The synergy between the factory and the OEM in Australia and the dealer works exceptionally well. There's great relationships there, like your dealer's going that extra mile to try and make sure you're happy. They're always keeping us informed of what our future needs may be or where we can fit in with our relationship with Cabalco. It doesn't matter what size of fleet you got, you're a tier one or a tier two or just a guy with, a, with one machine on the back of a trailer. I just feel that Cabalco is just doing that little bit extra. Yeah.